In this video, we're going to solve the equation 3x squared plus 7 equals 0 using the quadratic formula, which says that x is equal to the opposite of b, plus or minus the square root of b squared, minus 4ac, all over 2a. As we do, though, it's important we correctly identify our a, b, and c after the equation equals 0. This equation already equals 0, but you'll notice we only have two parts to this equation, or two terms, 3x squared plus 7. When we identify a, b, and c, it's important to remember that that a, b, and c came off of the equation ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. In other words, a is with the x squared, b is with x, and c is the constant term after the equation equals 0. You'll notice in this problem, we have something in front of x squared, so the 3 is going to be our a. However, there is no x term in our problem, so what will our b equal? If the x term is missing, b will equal 0. Or if any of the terms are missing, we make that missing term equal to 0. And then finally, the constant term 7 is going to be our c. Now we can plug these values into the quadratic formula. x is equal to the opposite of b, which is still 0, plus or minus the square root of b, which is 0, squared, minus 4a, which is 3, c, which is 7, all over 2a which is 3. Doing our multiplication in exponents, then, we end up with x is equal to 0, plus or minus the square root of 0 squared, which is 0, minus 4 times 3 times 7, which is 84 all over 2 times 3, which is 6. Noticing the front of this is 0, plus, or minus, that's not going to really have any value at all. So we're going to kind of ignore the 0, and 0 minus 84 is going to be negative 84. So we get x is equal to plus or minus the square root of negative 84, all over 6. Let's see if we can simplify that square root of negative 84. We know the negative is going to come out as an i, but what about the 84? 84 is 4 times 21. 4 is 2 times 2, and 21 is 3 times 7. And we do have a match in the 2, with 3 and 7 left behind. So now we have x is equal to plus or minus 2, i, square root of 21, or 3 times 7, all over 6. Because that is all factored in the numerator, we can also reduce the 2 over 6 to a 3, giving us our final solution of plus or minus i root 21, all over 3. So when using the quadratic formula, we want to be careful that our a is the number in front of x squared, b is the, ter the coefficient, the number in front of x, and c is the constant term that has no variable on it after the equation equals 0. Sometimes that means one of our a, b, and c are going to be equal to 0. Just plug those values in the quadratic formula, and then simplify, like always, to get our final solution.